Hey guys, it's Trina and today I'm telling you what's on my July TBR. We're gonna just see how I do this month because I have a lot of books that I really want to read and I am fully aware that I'm probably not gonna have time to read all of these. So, let's start with the TBR jar. Read one of the 10 oldest books on my TBR shelf. All right, what I meant by this was to read one of the books that I marked on my Goodreads to read like the earliest, and I know exactly what book I have in mind for this, so I'm really glad I got this one. I'm gonna have to go steal it from my husband though because he is currently reading it, so I'll be right back. I think quite a few of you are gonna be really happy about this, but the book I'm reading for this challenge is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. I've been wanting to read this like forever, for years, and just haven't gotten around to it, and I need to do it. My next book on my TBR is kind of a throwback because this was on a TBR maybe like two months ago, two or three months ago, and I didn't get to it back then, and this one is The Winner's Crime by Marie Rutkowski. This is book number two in the Winner's Trilogy. I absolutely loved the first book. This is a YA fantasy about a war, and our main character Kestrel is a general's daughter, and she ends up kind of having a little romance or feelings for one of her slaves. I loved the chemistry between them in book one. Quite a bit of stuff happened at the end of book one and book two is gonna be like up in the stakes so much. This month I also have three buddy reads going on. The first one is with Kayla Rain for The Archived by Victoria Schwab. This is Victoria Schwab's YA series and all I know about it is it's a library of people, like their minds, and I know I love Victoria's writing so I'm highly looking forward to this one. I also have a buddy read with Sarah from the channel Sarah Ella for Vanishing Girls by Lauren Oliver. She and I both have really liked some of Lauren Oliver's other books and we were just like, let's encourage each other to finally read this by reading it together. And as far as I know, this is a YA mystery about two best friends and one of them goes missing. So don't want to know too much more about it since it is a mystery. My last buddy read for July is Second Helpings by Megan McCafferty and this is an in real life buddy read that I am doing with my friends Holly and Becca. We all read the first book last month and I wanted to pick the second book up right away but I had other commitments and now I'm kind of feeling burned out on YA High School Contemporary because I read several of them last month so we'll see. I've talked about the Jessica Darling series before. The series came out in the early 2000s and it is like a diary entry format story of a girl just navigating high school and friendships and relationships this month I am also seriously planning to read A Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin for the A Summer of Ice and Fire readathon that is going on this summer through September. If you are anywhere in the series or you want to start the series for the first time, feel free to jump in the readathon with us. All it is is just a Goodreads group where we're trying to find buddies to read these books together to actually motivate us to get through the series. A lot of people are starting on book one, but some of of us are starting on like book three or they only have the last book to catch up on. I have the audiobook of this and I'm really looking forward to listening to the audiobook. However, I kind of want to just read this book because I know some stuff that's coming up in Storm of Swords because I have seen the show and I want to experience that like purely first hand off the page. So, but it's a big book so I have no idea if I'm going to accomplish this or in what format I'm going to accomplish it in, but I at least want to start this book this month and make some progress, so we'll see. I do have two library books that I'm not able to renew, so I have to read them pretty soon, and the first of those is The Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. This is book number two in the Queen of the Tearling series, which is becoming a movie. This is an adult fantasy. It's very politically based. There is some magic, uh, but it's like a futuristic fantasy, so the setting of this is like way in our future, but like medicine and technology have been lost, so it's kind of historical feeling. It's about a queen who is trying to come into her birthright of being the queen of the tearling. 
let's just repeat the title and that's what the book is about. But anyway, I'm guessing it gets invaded this time. <laughs> the lamest summary ever. And the other library book I have that I'm not able to renew is Paper Towns by John Green. I haven't made my mind up yet if I want to read this book or just skip it and watch the movie because to be honest, I haven't been very interested in the book, but the movie trailer did make this look interesting to me. So if I'm gonna read this, it has to be within like the next two or three weeks. So hopefully it's a short, quick read. Maybe I will read it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. This one is kind of up in the air right now, but I have it. So here it is. Look at the pretty thumbtack. Why did I do this to myself? This is eight books. And eight books is not a big deal except for this first one up here. Uh-huh. It's over a thousand pages long. And the last time I read a Game of Thrones book, I only got to three books that entire month. So this might be a bit overambitious. And let me just say that when I make a TBR, no one's rating me on this. So I'm not going to be stressed out if I don't get to some of these books because I don't have to report to anyone except myself. But I do want to show you guys like what is kind of coming up, what my interests are in for this month so that if we want to chat about any of the books, if you've read them or if you want to read them and maybe want to pick them up and read them this month too. It's just kind of like a what's on my radar kind of thing. But can't promise I'll get to them all and that there will be like reviews on all of them but if there's something in this stack that you think I should try to get to first or that you would like to see a review on please let me know what it is if you've read any of them let me know what you thought of them and let me know what you are most looking forward to reading in July and I hope I've been saying July this entire video thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna try not to drop these as I throw them in your face bye